Welcome to Dr. Zahir Math. If you enjoy my way of explanation, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get updates on my new videos. In today's video, I am going to solve the differential equation using variable separable method. This is a practice question. All the practice questions, let me make it as different color as a background screen which is pink color now. Okay, right. Let's solve question number 4. Solve x dy by dx is equal to 4y using variable separable method. Let me recollect the idea again about variable separable method, right? Okay. What is variable separable method? We are going to separate the variables x with dx, okay, right? And y with dy, right? While we are separating the variables x and y with dx and dy, this dx and dy should be in the numerator. Why? Because we are going to do the integration to get the solution, okay, right? That is why dx and dy should be in the numerator. Let's start the solution. Okay. Right. So x dy by dx is equal to 4y. Look at the variables everyone. So x is on the left and 4y is on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this y along with the dy and this x along with dx. But dx is in the down. So I'm going to take it to the numerator. So what I'm going to do dy divided by this y is coming here dy divided by is equal to 4 okay this x is going down right and this dx is going up okay so dy divided by y is equal to 4 divided by x times dx now check y with dy x with dx dy and dx is in the numerator so now I can go for integration if I integrate so dy divided by y is equal to ln y which is equal to 4 is a constant dx divided by x is equal to what ln x and now we are going to add the constant c keep in your mind if all the terms in the equations are having logarithms or natural logarithm you mean ln then try to put the constant also ln c right so ln y is equal to right using logarithmic rule which is power rule i'm taking this 4 to the top so i'm going to write it as ln x to the power of 4 plus ln c let me write the rule also here right the three rules of logarithms okay ln a let me change the color okay right so ln a plus ln b which is equal to ln a b okay so ln a minus ln b is equal to ln a divided by b. Similarly ln a power b we can write it as b ln a. The first rule we can call it as product rule. The next one we are going to call it as quotient rule. The last one is power rule. So using this power rule only look here this b I am taking to the top. This b is going up the 4 is going up plus ln c. Now again using this product rule look here ln a b is equal to ln a plus ln b. So what I am going to do I am going to write this as ln right x power 4 multiply by c. So which is equal to ln y right. Now both the side lns are there so we can cancel this ln. So y is equal to x power 4 times c. We can write c in the front of the expression okay right. So this is the solution of the differential equation y equals c x power 4. Let's go to the next question. Solve the differential equation using variable separable method. So I'm going to use variable separable method. So let me write the words also it's missing okay right. So let us start the solution right dy by dx okay plus 2x y square equal to 0 same idea right so you are going to separate the variables using the idea x with dx right and y with dy at the same time dx and dy should be in the numerator right so not in the denominator it should be in the numerator right so let's solve this differential equation first i will take this dy by dx i'll take this term other side which is equal to minus 2xy square now I'm going to separate this x and y along with the dy and dx. So what I'm going to do dy divided by y square I'm bringing down because it's in products. So when it comes to the other side it is going to divide. 
So minus 2x, right? The dx is going that side as 2x dx, right? Now check y with dy, x with dx, okay? So now we are going to do the integration. So let's start the integration. If you look at the right hand side, it's very easy to integrate, which is x. But when you look at on the left hand side, it is 1 divided by y square. So what I'm going to do, let me give you the brief introduction about this dy divided by y square. So I'm going to take this as y power minus 2 dy. Okay. So I'm going to use the rule which I told you in the previous video, which is y power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1. So what happens, which is equal to y to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. The same idea, I'm going to use it. So this is equal to y to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1, which is equal to minus 2 times x square divided by 2 plus integrating constant c. There is no ln, so I'm just going to put the c as c only, right? So this minus, I just keep it here and divide it by 1 by y because 2 power minus 1, I can write it as 1 by 2. So in this way, y power minus 1, I'm making down is 1 by y. Now this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, which is minus x square plus c. So we are going to find the value of y, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first change the minus sign. So 1 by y is equal to minus x square becomes plus x square and the plus c becomes minus c. Of course, I told you in the class, c is a constant. It can be plus or it can be minus. So better make it plus c or c dash or something like that. So therefore, this is equal to 1 by y is equal to this. Now I'm going to flip it, right? Flip it on both sides. Yes. What happens now? So y comes to the numerator and this goes to the denominator as 1 divided by x square plus c dash. But let me use c. Nothing wrong in that. So y equals 1 divided by x square plus c is the solution, right? So that's it for today's video. I hope this explanation helped you to understand the concept better. Don't forget to like and share this video with others who might benefit from it. Thank you for watching Dr. Zahir Math. See you in the next video. Stay safe and keep learning.